Hello dear ones, it's Alice. I am of the stars and I'd like to talk a little today about the black magician and the students are followers of the black magician. Sometimes a person will encounter a group of people who are unwittingly following a black magician who may be still in physical form who, or who may already have passed on. The people who are attracted to the black magician as a teacher, I, I feel are attracted because of karma of past incarnations. Um, they, in this incarnation, they take the black magician as their guru or spiritual teacher and the sole quality that they're developing in this incarnation is that of loyalty yes a uh, sole quality that will remain to be developed in future incarnations is that of discrimination so there are lessons to be learned um, for the follower of a black magician. Now, what are the qualities of the black magician? His, his goal, and the goal he passes on to his students, uh, is to acquire worldly wealth, worldly power, and perhaps astral or physical sexual conquests uh, by developing psychic powers. And so these goals, these goals of worldly power, worldly wealth, sexual conquests, and one more, long life. Because they belong to the lower chakras, of the human energy system. Um, they do not, uh, th their development is important, but it is not the primary goal of the incarnate soul. The primary goal of the incarnate soul is to develop the heart energy. Um, and the development of the heart energy will bring all of the chakras of the human energy system into alignment. Typically, the black magician will um, conserve the sex drive uh, and channel the energy from the sexual organs into the third eye point to use his psychic powers of the third eye point in achieving his goals. This, um, this holding in of the sexual chakra then creates soul wounding in the lower triangle 
further, it re in my um, understanding of the topic of the Black Magician, it results from um, soul wounding in the second chakra of the Black Magician from past incarnations. So, amongst his followers uh, will be found people with mirrored um, past incarnational second chakra wounding. All right. So this wounding of the second chakra um, pulls the energy of the Kundalini a little higher than it is in the undeveloped human and in the developed human whose second chakra is not uh, as obstructed or as soul wounded. So that lifting up of the energy uh, of the energy field from the locking out and, and repression of the sexual drive because of the wounding results in um, what some people call the um, false ascension matrix, I believe it's called. What is going on there for the black magician and his followers is because of uh, past instances, past lifetimes of sexual wounding, the, the energy field uh, falters somewhat at the level of the second chakra and, and therefore grounding to earth is difficult. Further, um, moving out into the astral plane is made easier because uh, the energy field is displaced upward and above the head, above the head, there's more of the energy field than for uh, most people. There above the head, the energy field is more in contact with the demon realm and with other beings such as the Nephilim or the um, Jinn or the Afrit uh, that share Gaia with humankind. These other beings, for a price, uh, will confer psychic powers. However, the bargaining t table is far from clear. And there are hidden assumptions in alliance with these beings that work to the devolution of the soul of the black magician and his followers. Now, for those that are able to see this process taking place, it can be difficult, very difficult to watch, especially if our friends or our family are caught in this web of dark energy. So I have for you today a prayer to say, a prayer that will offer the one who says it the grace to dwell in neutral mind and unconditional love without rancor or animosity towards what is going on and at the same time to offer a blessing for the black magician whether still in physical form or having already passed on and for his followers. I'll phrase this prayer in terms of guru and devotee, as quite frequently here in this darkness beneath the veil, the veil of forgetfulness, we humankind 
we'll call dark light and light dark. We all seek the highest for our souls, but sometimes through the intervention of other beings or because of our own soul wounding, we mistake the dark for light. And so we may imagine that the black magician is our guru, and we may imagine that we are his devotee. For that reason, I, I phrase this blessing and this prayer in those terms. May this Guru be blessed with unconditional love for his devotee. May this Guru be blessed with unconditional love for his devotee. Or, if you're speaking for all the devotees, you can say, May this Guru be blessed with unconditional love for his devotees. May this Guru be blessed with unconditional love for his devotees. Why does this prayer work? I believe it works because attainment of worldly goals through psychic powers, while it seems alluring, actually brings to the soul suffering, ignorance, and a falling away from God's truth. And so, the one who feels unconditional love for another soul will wish for that soul godlike qualities such as love and light and truth and joy and so the prayer um, requesting unconditional love will will alter the goals and the methods uh, on the very soul nature of the black magician over time through God's grace. And when that is changed, those loyal followers will rise with him out of the realms of the hell worlds and into the realms of the heaven worlds. There in the heaven worlds are experienced all the wonderful soul qualities, the tutoring of the angels in the qualities of the worlds and realms of light, of the teachings of beings as great as the Christ and the Buddha. There, from that springboard, may they rise past the highest reaches of the fourth dimension, past the highest reaches of the astral plane, and on to the fifth dimension, where these beings dwell. And what of those who say this prayer? When we see darkness in this world and we offer that darkness the light, then our souls too are filled with light and love. And so this prayer has many uses, many benefits for all humankind.